He has protected you from the sky. Now he's on a mission to protect you and your home from above and below. He's here now to show you how he can protect you and your family too. Here he is, the owner and creator of Priority One Protection, Mike Snow. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. <laughs> how you guys doing this morning? We're good. Everybody, how are you? Everybody was so involved. Was... <laughs> Man, we are on it with Priority One Protection. Yes, go. we are. <laughs> yes, we are. And who is your friend today, Mike? Hey. I have M Mark. I'm oh, sorry. I just you wanted to shout him. out to D. Good morning, D. Good morning. <laughs> good morning, D. How we you love you. <laughs> Well, this is Mark Ainsley. Uh, when we were talking a couple of weeks ago, we were talking mm -hmm. about Zach Snacks. Well, oh, yes. I actually got him to actually join us this morning. Good, Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Thank you. Mark. Thank you for having me. Glad to be here. Awesome. I, I love Zach Snacks. Yes, they're good. They're good. And he, he brought in, I mean, he didn't have the, um, before he had just the cookies, and now he's got this new item that, that little gummy bear. Right. No. Yeah, that's yeah. that's hot. <laughs> do you have it with you? I do. Yeah, what? there's a couple in the box. What is it? It's a, he um, actually brought you guys some, so you oh. guys got your own. I, I did bring you guys some samples. You know, I saw you last time he was on the show, but we're actually coming out with our, our, our Meg oh, 3 gummy you. bears made with krill oil and Oh, and nice. Then, um, you got to open it and try it now. We gotta, okay. We, we what bat is... baptize you right here, right now. Oh, <laughs> we are ready for that. You don't have to tell me twice. Mmm. Wow. D yeah. said save her time. Holy moly. Yeah, you're eating 150 milligrams of uh, direct krill oil there with omega-3 and chia. We're going to activate your brain today and get you all excited. Wait a minute. It doesn't... Okay, so when you said krill oil, I'm thinking it's going to have a fishy taste. This does not have... It doesn't even... That's the idea. Mm -mm. It doesn't even taste... Well, it tastes healthy, but not like healthy, healthy. It doesn't taste... It's good. Yeah. That's the idea. Stealth health. Stealth health. It's really Stealth good. Stealth health. It's yeah. yummy. And it's, not, it's like Wait easy to chew, too. Yeah. Can I have more? <laughs> yes, can. How should, many more? Are you, how many are you supposed to have? One a day? Well, you're supposed to uh, originally get 150 milligrams minimum of omega three mm -hmm. a day. Eight and ten Americans don't get it; they're deficient. I don't. So I don't get it. I'm, I'm sure you don't, but we're going to we're going to fix that today. All right. And so um, you can eat three of those a day. You're good. You get wow. 100, wow. You know, 100 uh, 500 well, milligrams. Well, with breakfast, lunch, wow. and dinner. 500 yeah. mil. This you need is, to get that. could be your dessert. Yeah. You have such good things with you. Oh, I know. And you have amazing <laughs> products, Mike. You really do. And I have good friends, too. And you have yes. amazing that's, friends. Absolutely. And absolutely. that's one thing that's awesome is to surround yourself. No fishy taste. And you would think, you would think, or something, it doesn't even take, it doesn't taste Asian-y. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't no, stereotype. But you know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying? No, but you know, yeah. but with, with the oils and everything. Yes. And I'm into, I'm into all of that. That absolutely. is just my, that's just my alley. This is amazing. Yeah. But one of the one of the big things that Mark and I are working on together is just like we always talk about is that medical pen and that is one of, mm, that is right. our big push. Yes. Uh, that he and I are Health. doing things together for. And and being healthy together and living a healthy lifestyle. Absolutely. And Absolutely. we have to we yeah. there's still a place I want to go when it comes to I'm not going to push it this morning. But <laughs> Well, you know what, I'll be honest, I I actually <laughs> I had it in the car, it sent me the message to tell me that the battery was dying. <laughs> And I did not put it on the chart. That's one of the biggest problems with the unit. If you have, uh, when you when you're doing that type of thing, because you know I'm constantly on the go and things, and right. I meant to put it on the charger. Obviously, I knew I was coming in this morning, and it sent me the text message. It telling sent it me, to you. Yes, it let me know. Hey, I'm I'm dying. You need to charge, and and then I still left. Well, it out the great there. the great thing about this, this is um, my family is actually getting my grandma one. Yes. yes. So, which is amazing, and I was talking to my aunt yeah. about it yesterday, and I'm like, there's a geo field that you can put, so if she decides to leave, it's bam, right we know. Right. You know? Yeah. And and everyone knows, and it's on your five, phone. Five people yeah. will know, and then, but the, the, one of the good things about that as well, because one of the things that uh, we're coming out with or working with the manufacturer to have added is the be able to lock it on. To mm -hmm. where you can actually, it's going to usually l take a wand to actually re to release it. Just like if, like oh. if you're in, a, um, you know, Walmart or you know, those little things that, that they put on you on the little clothes that uh, mm -hmm. the, the magnet. So they yeah. just have a little wand to be able to unlock it. Really? Yes. Yeah, so that way you, oh they won't gosh. be able to take it off. You know. So that's one. Hmm. That's another thing that uh, that's that that would come in handy because you know. Patients with Alzheimer's or dementia, exactly. they exactly. sometimes yeah. they just want to be naked. 
you know? And, and how are they, except if you wear it as the necklace, but I mean, that would be perfect. Well, one of the reasons I, I got excited about working with Michael when we, we first met, he hadn't even thought about it. Right. Mm -hmm. But in our space <laughs> of autism, uh, it gives us peace of mind that I know that if my son has a, this on, um, if he gets out of his space, we clearly know uh, where he is. And, right. um, we can track him, not only myself, but five other people on the, on the uh, network. And so I asked him, have you ever thought about the autism community? Mm -hmm. It hadn't even dawned on him. Mm -hmm. But if you're not in that space, you really Very don't true. think about right. it. Right. And when he brought that to my attention, we got one from my son, and uh, we we're working it out. I said, let, let me drive this thing a little bit. You know, it's kind of hard to eat the dog food if you haven't had the dog food. Exactly. So uh, we, we right. took this dog food. we eating it. We're coming up with ideas and things to make it better because peace of mind in our community of autism, and it's just not in April that I tell everybody, we live it 24-7, 365. Mm -hmm. Right, you do. And be able to have peace of mind that... I can walk away if he gets away, and generally when they wander, because they do wander a lot. You hear it. You hear it all, all the time. The time. Yeah. They don't end up well. No. They don't end up well. Right. But if he gets out of the space, gets out of what we call that that sonic bubble, if mm -hmm. you want to call it that, and it goes off, everybody knows where he is, and, Yeah. Uh, her or him. and So it's important to us to bring some peace, and I told him that. You know, I said, you got to look at this. Yeah. When he brought that up, what, a couple weeks ago... I was like, wow, that makes so much sense right. because I didn't think about that. You it, know? It's important. It's it important. is important. Well, sure. Yeah, because when I first even brought it to myself and when we were, when I was first looking for them, I never thought about it. I thought about elderly. That's, mm -hmm. you know, and, you know, people like that because that was one of the problems that I had with my parents being right. gone. And I want, wish that, you know, I had something, you know, like my dad fell and, and uh, broke his uh, broke his hip and, right. and my mother fell and broke her leg. And, I mean, these, you know, these types of things were something that were important to me. But I, like you said, I just never even opened my eyes to realize what else I could be using what the device for. What else you can use it? Because with that geofencing, not geoforce. You like, geoforce. Like geo, I like the that. Geoforce. Yes. We're going to change <laughs> that. Like that. Good, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but the geofencing that's on it is, yeah. is definitely uh, a very good feature because it, it most certainly will uh, send you that text message. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, that's one of the things that I turned on for myself. So as I'm you know leaving and coming... It's definitely sending those messages, and um, you know, which is a very useful tool for somebody that gets away. If you don't mind me uh, in prying into your personal life, tell them the story about your son as to how he left. Well, um, right before he graduated and um, uh, from high school, he did graduate. Mm -hmm. He'll be 21 this year. Uh, he's uh, not quite Asperger's, but he's on the spectrum. But he got away. Uh, like they all do wonder, right before he graduated and was, and was gone for about six hours. Nobody knew where he was living uh, oh my goodness. in the community. And we had um, the sheriff's office out getting ready to bring the dogs, put the helicopter, Amber. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he had left the house about 930 that evening and neighbors saw him. And that's that's one thing I try to tell autistic at parents 930 at in night. the evening. And, uh, but the neighbors didn't all know that um, he was on the spectrum. Right. We, we, you know, that's private, seeing stuff like that. The parents think they're protecting, but in some instances you're not protecting them when the neighbors don't know. Right. So they know. But he got away for about six hours, and wow. he was about seven miles from the house. Oh, seven my. miles. Found him 3 o'clock in the morning, uh, about barefoot. But I have these shirts made with, say, Zack Snacks on them. So I always make sure he sleeps with one mm -hmm. on. So he had his shirt on, and my sister found him walking back home and he had said you know the next day when he he actually took me on the route and that's how i know it was seven miles one way he was halfway back when she found him so he had been walking 10 miles oh my gracious barefoot, you know and they found him three o'clock in the morning and he said he went out on an adventure well he, <laughs> he went on this he went he went to this bread shop where his mom would take him and she buys him snacks and he mm -hmm. thought that he could just go and buy some snacks. But the thing about it, we didn't know he could cross over the interstate. Hmm. He crossed over an eight-lane highway. Oh, my. Right. Oh, honey. So, but if you're thinking, if he had this bracelet. Exactly. Because when Michael gave it to me and we set it up, and I, I, had, I had five people on including myself, 
we setting it up and these things just blowing up. <laughs> so everybody's calling me, what is this? <laughs> what is this? So I realized right then, Michael, we got something special yes, here that we can do. work with. Mm -hmm. And yes, so for, for us, that, that's really what triggered it. We, we had been working with other companies, but it didn't, you know, you, you got to work with something, mm -hmm. you know. And I told right. Michael, we, we got to put a model together. We, we've got to have some feel. Try it. We, that's why we know the bracelet's got to be tightened up and the color band. And the state mm -hmm. of Florida is, is now training police officers to be more aware of it. But yeah. if we had a band, like this band right here, mm -hmm. and it had the artistic colors on it and the you know, the piece of puzzle. Yeah, missing. the you puzzle can on it. You would, you would know exactly. Would know. That person has autism. Has autism. Yeah, on the spectrum. This person has that yeah. by the icons of what what their needs are. What their right. needs are. And Because and one, one of the things my good friend, Senator Wise, former state senator who's a head of appropriation committee, he, he loves my son. He calls him the boss. <laughs> I right. love that. And um, he said, Mark, the biggest fear I have for you if he's out with some friends, they all get in a little mischief. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know because he's just alone he for the ride. Right. He's not going to stop. He's going to boat because he loves to boat and run. <laughs> mm -hmm. And who can imagine? And my son is a thick little, he's a thick young man. He, he, mm -hmm. He's thick. And um, so he was saying, I don't want your son to be a statistic because he just goes and he's not going to exactly. obey that command. Mm -hmm. But if we have this, he's not going to get out of that, that bubble. No. All right. It's going to go off to five different people. Yep. All right. And we can all converge on it. You know, when Michael set it up and went to my daughter in Orlando, what is this? <laughs> you know, and went to my mom in Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. She was like, "What? what's going on? Is Zachary okay? So I knew it was working. Yeah. Yes. And that's what we needed. And that Mike gives the whole family Snow peace. went to the whole family, yeah. your whole family, and said, this is what we have. Yeah. And Absolutely. this is how you use it. Yeah. And, it, well, and not only... Does it send that message? It will also send a map with it. So yeah. in, inside the text message, if you actually hit the link, it will take you to an actual geo map and it tell you exactly where it's at. And that which refreshes. updates every 30 yes. seconds. So if he was moving, mm -hmm. right, in this situation, he would have been able to be found a lot sooner. Right. Even, that, even with the tracking, you know, even with the yeah. moving. So that those it's basically the little breadcrumbs that basically kind of say, where I'm going. Yep. So, yeah, so that could basically it. take down a lot of the silver alerts that we have. No doubt. Absolutely. Because if someone has it on them and they're, they get in their car and they forget where they're going, exactly. mm -hmm. you know, with, with dementia, I mean, let's just yeah. start with the early forms of dementia. Before we knew that my mom had it, but we didn't know how bad it was getting exactly. mm -hmm. until we would hear after the fact, and it would be days later, mm -hmm. that she would say, you know, I got lost going to Publix. Yep. How lost did you get? Right, right. You know, my sister's in Georgia, and I'm in Tampa, and she's in Orlando. Right. So how lost did you get? Hmm. And it's, you know, and, and to have something, especially that's, you know, for a specific need of autism. For a parent, my daughter, when she was two or three, <laughs> she learned, like an escape artist, how to get out of the house. Oh, yeah. And you're talking the same amount of time <laughs> at night. Nine o'clock at night, the front door's open. I'm like, I locked it. I lock the screen. Where's right. my munchkin? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My munchkin's like, woohoo! That's where my munchkin is. Go and hear the little helium voice that just escaped with the dog. Yeah. And, and, and if you do have someone who's young and they're not verbal, they're not on verbal autism, on autism. They're yeah. not verbal. They're not. But if we can. Like Michael showed me the breadcrumbs. He don't know he had my goat anyway. When he told me about this, <laughs> I'm in. You don't have to sell me on this. No. I've been looking for this. Right. You need and that peace of mind. I, I needed that peace of mind because you go to a mall. You go to a fair. You go Think to Disney. You go to Disney. How? I mean, I love to go to theme parks with my girls, but I get panicked because I'm like where, you know, and one of them is my height now. But I still get panicked on where are we at, where are we going, hold my hand, stay yeah. together. Because you're in such an environment of so many people, and if they get lost, yep. And then with autism, it panics. I was telling Michael, you know, you got over eighty percent of the families with single moms. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Now just imagine eighty percent of the families. Eighty percent plus. Yeah. Oh goodness. Single moms yeah. raising men and young boys that don't have a tracking bracelet. You, 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 and maybe they can't speak. Now, when my son. Went to his high school. I'll never forget it. It was 40, maybe 50, 45 students when he first started. 
in ninth grade. Mm-hmm. Before he left, there's over 100 oh, in this goodness. segment. And mm-hmm. before he got out of high school, they, they converted a complete elementary school just to focus on autism. It, it is not something that just comes once every 11 months. No, no. it's not. It's every, every day. day. And when you got uh, one in 50, just do the math. What are some of the statistics mm-hmm. of autism? One in 50. One in 50. <clears throat> and when you take that one in 50, you've got over um, 80% going to be boys. Mm. Most of them are Why affected. Why is that? I, you know, I, I don't know the answer to that, and I don't think anybody really knows the answer to that. And um, it's so when, when Zachary got diagnosed, that's why we call him Zach Snack. How old mm-hmm. How old was he when he got diagnosed? About 14, 15 months. But yeah. I wasn't looking for it. Right. I, right. I took him to the doctor, ladies, because I thought he was deaf. Mm. He stopped developing. No more speaking. Mm-hmm. No more. I, I didn't, you know, I put a bullhorn in his ear one day and blew it, looking at TV like I'm looking at you. He kept looking. Hmm. I said, so he's deaf. <laughs> So I took him to Shands, and uh-huh. they sent him to go to Baptist Nemours, and then we did a test. He's about 14, 15 months. I, I, I don't get punked out by much. I, I just don't. But that punked me out <laughs> that day. I was, I'm looking as cool as I'm looking here, but underneath I was like a duck with feet flapping like crazy because I, I don't want to know, and I want to know. What, right. what does the right. test, and like, what did hard. he have to go through? Well, what they did was they put him in, we're in a sound booth, mm-hmm. about three times larger than this. Zachary would play with little stones in the middle of the blocks and stuff. So they put him in the middle of the floor. And the nurse said, Mr. Anzel, we're going to find out what's, what's wrong with your son, whether he's deaf. But he's not going to hear the first sounds. Only animals can hear him. Blow the whistle. The dogs would come. They can only hear him. Right. So he's not going to hear. Once he gets to a certain decimal point, we'll know what his level of deafness is. Okay. She said the test <clears throat> might take I maybe 10 minutes, maybe. Mm-hmm. She went. I can see her walking to the sound booth right now. Mm-hmm. I see her going in, and I'm scared <laughs> because I'm going to find oh, out now. Right. Yeah, oh my that gosh. is nerve wracking. Oh, it, it, it was more nerve wracking. It was like Your we don't. Heart. I've never seen this before. Right. So she went in there, and I can say she. The test might have took 15, 20 seconds. Wow. Because I, I, I'm oh just saying goodness. she might have seemed like she just said click, click on the knob. Now, I didn't hear nothing, but that's just my what I saw. Mm-hmm. Right. She stopped the test. She came out of the booth. Your son's not deaf. He hears like a dog. But wow. He's, and she Holy said he's on the, she says he's on the spectrum. Ah. But she didn't tell me what that was. I what was, the spectrum I, was. She didn't. She said he's on the spectrum. And I said, I can spell it. I can define it. I'm a college <laughs> grad, Florida a <A&M> University. <laughs> this is exactly what I said. I can do that. But she didn't tell me. She walked out of the door. She came back in with two other doctors. And since that day, I say, anytime you go to a doctor's office and when you come back with more than one went mm-hmm. out, that's not a good sign. Oh, right, goodness. yeah. Right? And then they said, he's on the spectrum. I leaned forward. I said, what is autism? How do you spell it? What does it do? They didn't tell me. They said, well... It's a neurological disorder. Now, I said that very well today, but back then I couldn't say neurological. I couldn't spell <laughs> neurological. Mm-mm. And then he said, well, his synopsis didn't take place connecting the brain. I said, oh, hold it, hold it. I, j- j- what do I get my boy? Right. They said, you don't, we don't want you to give him any drugs at that age. Give him omega-3. They said, well, get him some fish oil. 1998. Who's mm-hmm. talking about omega-3? Nobody. Mm-hmm. Nobody. And she's, I said, I don't know what fish oil is. Now, country folk think of fish oil we're going to buy some grease mm-hmm. we're going to fry some fish that's right and we're going to have some fish oil <laughs> that's right that's how we looked at it. but they said that's right they, they said no we're not talking about that they said well what about omega-3 i said what is omega-3 right but then she said something she said have you ever had any cod liver oil <clears throat> every light in my head went mm-hmm. off every person in the country got cod liver oil with Cairo syrup yep. or something right mm-hmm. take during the right. winter we're, we're not kids. to catch a cold right yep, exactly. but not for your brain and they said, you get in that because it's going to help each and every one of us for the rest of our lives. It's going to help you with four things, but kids, three things, but kids four. Your focus, your clarity, your mood and cognizant development and hmm. kids. But for us, focus, clarity, and mood. Omega-3 is the only food your brain will eat. DHA, omega-3. It's it. It's it. And that's wow. what you got. And you have to take it in because it's essential. You got to take it in. You got to <laughs> eat it. And so for us, get in that. How are we going to do it? Because my son would smell everything. And that's the other thing we find out about autism. Oh, man, they got crazy. Mm-hmm. He would smell everything. We didn't pick mm-hmm. up the signs. 
But when you pass the smell test, then you got to deal with the first note test. Right. See, you get an after note. Oh, that's great after note. That's some great ice cream. You get an after note. When it hits the tongue, they got it. Yeah. Either they're going to chew or not. And then you got the smell. You got the note. Then you got the feel of the roof of the mouth. Right. So it's got to feel right. Some like it crunchy. My son didn't like crunchy early on because if he ate a bag of potato chips, it was like the 4th of July in his head. Got to remember. Yeah. He hears like a dog. It that ain't makes just, sense now. It, it's not it's not regular potato chips. So he didn't like crunchy stuff. And we would one day I can remember him being in a quiet room. This is when it all made sense to me. Only when it did. He had covered his ears, mm -hmm. quiet room, him by himself, but fluorescent lights. Ah, uh, the humming. The humming. We didn't hear nothing. Hmm. <laughs> he just started crying. And like, oh my God. Oh my goodness. How do you deal with that so a lot of prayer a lot of a lot a lot of prayer a lot of just confusion about nobody's really giving you what to do mm -hmm. and that and then you put on top of that as they're growing up they wonder right so now okay he doesn't talk right i don't know what he hears he didn't start talking again until he's about five years old and the only thing i really did with my son zach was focus on his nutrition his brain health that's it now, I didn't win every battle. A lot of them I lost. Mm -hmm. But that one, I was trying to stay on track with, with that. And this here is, is just another block, another piece of that autism puzzle, right. a piece that he, he's going to give so many people. That's why I'm, I'm all in. I'm all in. So how did you develop Zach Snacks? It's, well, it's, Zach, it, was, I, it, was, it wasn't It's purposeful. in honor of your child. I was going to ask named after quick, how do we find out more information on the gummies yes. and sex? Snacks? Well, you can go, you're going to be able to go to our website. There's a couple of things that we just did this uh, contest with the NFL last year. Mm -hmm. And we was in that version of the Shark Tank. We was one of three nice. that came in nationally. Awesome. And the final. So you can go to our site, <laughs> myzacksnacks.com. You'll be able to find out about the Zach snacks themselves and the gummy bears. You're the first really tasting these gummy bears. Mm. I'm in love with those gummy bears. Uh, you're going to <laughs> be able good. to get them, but your kids will be able to get them. The idea was how do we get the kids when they're developing that early? Right. Because between zero and five, the hard wiring is taking place. you got you, you right. got to win that battle. You have to win that and, battle. And then when they come off formula, you got to win the pallet battle. Exactly. So if you don't win those two battles, you got a long road to hoe sometimes. It's you hard know? just to get them to eat, it's much less to have to, to get, have the vitamins and minerals and the oils. Yeah. Getting them to eat different foods. Mm -hmm. um, it's yeah, tastes it's, so good. I wanted to give out Mike Stowe's information also. Um, because mm -hmm. we are running out of time. <laughs> wow, that was quick. Wow, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. So, um, I, we are getting my grandmother. Yes. The medical pendant. Uh, go to priority one, the number one, protection.com. Right there. To get all of your information that you need, um, home security system, mm -hmm. um, the video surveillance. Absolutely. And the medical pendant. You want to give them your phone number? It is, uh, <clears throat> the local number is area code 813-863-1154, or you can uh, reach us on the toll-free line, 888-736-8606. We're also going to be out on the town this week, next week, I'm sorry, with Mike Snow. Yes. Yep. We will keep you updated on where we are so you guys mm -hmm. can come and say hey or, you know, have some fun with us. Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. I love the sack snacks. The chocolate chip one is my favorite. Yes. Yeah, I love them. It and is. then it, it, you can feel the energy. But what like, I bring ate it. gelato bars, right? We haven't had the gelato oh, bars. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. We have gelato bars with, <laughs> with fruits and vegetables, collard greens and apple and strawberries and spinach. Oh, my and word. And chia and omega-3 in it as well. Yeah, I, 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 I have, I have so many questions for you. I, because I'd like for our listeners and everybody around the world to be able to be a part of this. Gonna have to um, have him as a guest on the show again, and we're gonna have to have you as a guest on the show again. And especially you know, everywhere around the world, people are having problems, you know. And to have that protection, not just Mike with you and your priority one, um, which his price undercuts everybody, and your systems are state of the art. Um, but to have products like yours that it helps people is healing. Um, there's so many of us in our communities. Autism was, was unheard of growing up. Mm -hmm. 
and now it seems like it's on the forefront and we're finally learning more and more about right. it. And to be able to have, honest to goodness, products that are, are autism proof, because if, if, if you can get this past your family, then my family can have it. Mm -hmm. If this passes the test with your son, my daughters are going to eat this up because I've tried with other, you know, you, you, Omega and krill oil, and they're like, Mom, this tastes, what are you giving me? This is horrible. They don't want to swallow it. Um, but this is remarkable. And all of the products that you've brought in so far that, that we have tried have been extraordinary. Well, I thank you so much. I thank I, Michael. Go ahead. I wanted to say um, Dee just posted, Mr. Ashley will be a ge uh, guest, uh, guest speaker. speaker at the HCC Ebor campus on Thursday. Uh-huh at BBIC CEO Collaborative Event to introduce Zach Snacks and, and the, pendant. the Pendant with Mike Snow. Call to reserve RSVP 813-605-3703. Mr. Ansley, thank you so thank much. You guys so much. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. It so is such much. a blessing to have you. It's thank such you. a blessing to have, have you, Have a Mike great Snow. weekend. Make sure you visit www.priority number one protection.com. Remember, you are blessed, you are loved, <laughs> and you are sacred. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye, guys.